Hey everybody and welcome, Ben here with Peer Presence Creative and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a full page video background for your website um, and we're, we're going to do it without the use of widgets again. We're actually going to do this from scratch and I'm going to show you how easy it is to code this and add it to your Adobe Muse website. So as you can see right in front of us we have a demo if you will and I uh, just kind of made a quick Apple mock-up for the Apple Pencil and uh, yeah it's a fixed background it's a fixed video background and it's really easy to do so let's go ahead and jump straight into Muse and I'll show you guys how we can do this okay so this is the project I already created but we're gonna start from scratch so you guys can actually see what I did so I'm gonna go to file new site and I'll just use the standard 960 pixels. We'll, we'll keep it as is. Hit OK. We're just going to go to the home page. Now, one of the biggest things you're going to need to do is uh, make sure you dedicate a particular layer to being your video background. So layer one is actually going to be my video content. So I'm going to rename it by double clicking on it. and Just call it video background. OK, so we got video background. All right. So we have our video background. Next thing we need to do is uh, we need to select our video that we're actually going to use for our video background. Now, most browsers support um, .mp4 video file types, so I'm actually just going to use that. Some browsers support others, such as .ogg, I believe it's called, but uh, we're, we're going to just use .mp4 for our video. So. To do this, what we need to do is first just go have it ready in your <coughs> computer, just have it edited, ready to go, and uh, just compress it in any way possible. But uh, we need to make sure and add it to our project's assets. So to do that, we need to go to <coughs> File, go to Add Files for Upload, and mine's just called, uh, what, shoot, what did I call it? Uh, woman Drawing on an iPad, perfect, there it is. So it's added to my assets, and if I were to go to my assets panel, you see it right there. It says woman drawing on iPad.mp4. Then I'll go back to my layers. So we have it loaded, we have it ready to go. All we need to do is go to page, actually, excuse me, go to object, and we're gonna insert HTML. Now, what we need to do is we need to insert what's called a video tag here. So before we even insert the video tag, we're gonna open up a div. And we're going to close that div. And uh, again, HTML, you have opening and closing tags. And then inside, we're going to do video. And we're going to close the video tag as well. And inside the video tag, we're going to give it a uh, tag called source. OK, so we have our source tag. And we're going to actually add a source attribute. And what this attribute is going to do is basically we're going to get to link to our video that we just uploaded to the assets folder. So obviously it's in assets. So we're going to hit A-S-S-E-T-S -S -S for assets. I don't know why I spelled that for you guys. It's pretty easy. So you're going to hit assets forward slash and then your video type. So mine is called woman drawing on iPad. So <clears throat> and it's dot mp4 so we have the source of the video is from the assets folder and it is a woman drawing on an iPad dot mp4. And then we need to tell the file type. So we're going to go to type equals video slash mp4. And that's it. Um, you can do a fallback tag, which the video will display just in case it's an older browser. So if you want to have a fallback, um, you can put sorry your browser doesn't support video. There we go. So what this is doing is we have a video tag and this is used in HTML5 and the video tag it's asking for the file of in your assets folder of the woman drawing on an iPad and it's just saying that it's a mp4 video. 
Um, and if the browser is older, it will just completely ignore this tag and it will say, sorry, your browser does not support video. So <clears throat> right off the bat, we already have our video set. Um, all we need to do is make sure that this video is looping and make sure it's muted because obviously sound in a website, I mean, if you were to visit a website that just has sound blaring, I know it can get annoying. So just for a good user experience, we're gonna mute the video. So you just put muted and we're putting this inside the video tag and then we'll put loop and then we'll put autoplay. And these are all attributes. Um, and I know normally you're used to seeing attributes require values where it has this equals and then quotations here. But for the video tag, it actually doesn't require that. So that's pretty good, pretty easy. You just got to remember video. And if you want it muted, you just type muted. If you want it to loop, you just type loop and autoplay. It's pretty self-explanatory. So moving on from there, the last thing we need to do is give our div. This is our container div we need to give it a class. So I'm going to give it a class name and my class name will just be called vid, V-I-D. And what a class name is, is it's actually the exact same as a graphic style. So this is just an identifier that we can eventually use in our CSS like we did in some other previous tutorials. The class name, um, we're going to be able to use this class name to identify this particular video and the video box or a container um, in our CSS. So we have this all set up, we're all ready to go and we just hit OK. So we already have our embedded HTML and you'll see it just opens up a box like this but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring it to the top left corner and I'm gonna drag it all the way over to the far left. And I'm going to pin it to the center and we can actually leave it just this height because the code we're going to add to our video is it's it's going to expand it to fit the full height of the browser. So now that we have our video set up, we actually have the video tag in place with a div surrounding the video to hold it in place. Um, we just need to style it with some CSS. So to do that, we need to go to page and we need to go to page properties and we're gonna go to the metadata tab. You guys are probably getting used to this now because of all my tutorials, but uh, we're gonna look for the HTML for head. And again, the head part of the HTML document lets you put in code that's pretty much invisible to the user. So CSS, JavaScript, um, page descriptions, meta descriptions, so on and so forth. So we're gonna go ahead in here, we're gonna open up a style tag and we're gonna close that style tag. And then we're going to go ahead and select our vid container. So we're going to hit um, period, which is a class selector. And then we're going to target the class name, which is vid. And we're going to open and close the curly bracket. And inside here, we're going to do, we're going to give it some style. We're going to actually um, give it a position attribute, which is going to be position relative. Then we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a full width. So we'll do width 100%, we'll do height 100 VH. <coughs> and I use VH for viewport height instead of percentage because if you have a very long web page, let's say you have a one page website and you're just using the video um, background as kind of an accent, then uh, the video would stretch not just the viewport height which is from this top to the bottom here it would stretch way beyond that so your video would look blurry it would look pixely it just wouldn't look that good so i recommend doing 100 viewport height which is the 100 vh and uh it'll look a lot better it'll look a lot cleaner so we'll go ahead our vid container which remember this is the div this is the outside div it has a position of relative a width of 100 percent a height of 100 viewport height and that's all we need so next we need to target the vid and its child the video tag so we'll do period vid <coughs> and to access an element that's um, inside of this vid tag, 
we just type out video. This is the element tag. This is what we did. And I can explain that later. So basically you have a hierarchy where it's cascading style sheets and with HTML you have an element and then you have child elements. The video right here is a child element of the vid element above it. So to target the video child element you just do vid and then video and then you can open up your curly brackets as we did before. And with this guy also really easy all we have to do is go to position oops absolute and it's a different position than the vid but the relative is ensuring that this absolute position stays inside um, we can get into further we can go dig further into some CSS and why these things work later but we're just gonna keep moving on with the tutorial so position absolute we're gonna do left 50% we want this to be 50% from the left and we want it to be 50% from the top, which is why we do top 50%. And since our transform origin is actually in the top left, whenever you move from thing, something from the left or anywhere, the move origin is actually the top left corner. So we actually need to fix that, and it's called a transform fix. So we'll do transform translate and then inside you'll do negative 50% comma negative 50%. And since transform is still relatively new, I mean it's it's been around quite a while, but uh, we'll go ahead and use some vendor prefixes to make sure it works on all browsers. So we'll do WebKit and we'll copy and paste the transform translate. And then we'll also do a dash MS for Microsoft Internet Explorer and then we'll paste it there as well and then all we need to do is ensure that it stretches a 100% of the height and 100% of the width of the vid container so we'll do min height do 100% oops I forgot my percent <coughs> and then we'll do man, min width 100% and then you just go ahead and hit OK, and you'll see it probably, oh wow, normally it gives a spiral here, but uh, looks like it already knew what to do. So we'll go and, and continue, and we'll go ahead and uh, check this out. So we'll go to Preview Page and Browser. It's loading. There we are. We have our full page video background. And we could actually go back in and we can start placing stuff on top of it. We can create a layer and uh, go ahead and just draw out some divs along the top. We can make this, um, this obnoxious cyan color and we'll just go to file preview page. And there you go. You see the cyan box on top of your video background. <coughs> and since we pinned it, we actually took the container that we added the HTML to and pinned it. Uh, the video background will stay in place as you scroll up and down on your website page. So hopefully that was pretty easy for you guys. It was uh, pretty straightforward. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And you can go to peerpresencecreative.com if you have any ideas for stuff you'd like to learn. And if you're interested in learning more code, more HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, just let me know. And until next time, you guys, be sure and have a good one.